Okay, everybody, we are nearly there. So we're up to the stage with Home Bank where we're going to reconcile our bank account. So when you've pulled all your transactions down into the system and you've given everything a category and you've finished all of that, then you need to make sure that the bank balance in your home bank matches the bank balance in your bank account. And that's because you want to make sure that when you're going to look at all your transactions, that you actually have the right numbers in the right places. So the best thing to do is to have your bank account, your online banking open and your home bank open. Now, what I do is I split my screen and I have home bank on one side or on one screen and I have my online banking on the other screen. So that takes a little bit of sort of faffing around. Um, so it can be a little bit tricky. If you've got two screens, then that's even better. Um, if you're doing it on your phone, you're going to find this a bit tricky. Um, so I, you can't do home bank really on your phone anyway. Um, so I tend to split my screen and try and have one on one side and one on the other. And that way you can see it quite easily. So I'll show you what you met, what I mean. So what I've done is I've downloaded Abby and Sam's everyday account and imagined that this has come off their online banking. And so this is taking up the whole screen and it's quite big. So we're going to make it a hundred percent for starters. And then if you hold on to the Windows key and go the left button, then you can see all the transactions there. Then I'm going to open up their everyday account in Home Bank, and I'm going to hit hold down the Windows key and go to the left. And obviously I'm going to tell it that I want to look at that one on that side. So what we've got here is we can see all of their transactions and they're in date order from the 1st of May down. So in this screen, I'm going to make sure that I have the same thing. You can shrink down all of this information because what you want to see is you want to see the categories, you want to see the amounts, and particularly you want to see the amounts and you want to see the balance. So as you can see from there, I can now see pretty much all of that information. I could squish that down a little bit more. 75% is pretty small. So let's go 90%. That's better. And now I can very easily go across from the left to the right and just pick one. Just pretty much start from your online banking and look at then your home bank and go tick off each thing from, from the top to the bottom. So as you can see, we had our first transaction and our online banking was $60 for Abby's allowance, and we've got that there. So every time you see something, obviously that's correct, you tick it off. And then that will give you a little locked sign, um, which the little locked icon. You can unlock it if you need to take the tick off again. Or if you lock it, it means that you can't accidentally change it later on. Now, the fast way to reconcile is to go to the end of the month check your bank balance, which is $2,533.98, and go down to the bottom of your home bank and say, is my amount the same? If they're the same, then you're going to click on the top one, hold the shift key down, click on the bottom, and click the little arrow. And that now says that you've got everything right across the two. Now, if something wasn't right, and you can take all those ticks off, then I would do it in chunks. And I would say, right, well, let's do everything up till the 5th of May. On the 5th of May, the balance was $700.36. So to the 5th of May, I have a balance of $700.36. Yes, that matches. I will tick that. And then if you start to go off course, you can very quickly see where you're going. Sometimes you might get a double up. Sometimes there just might have been a transaction that accidentally got missed. Um, or you've put something in manually and you might have put some numbers around the wrong way. Now, so that is, that is basically how to reconcile um, very quickly on Home Bank. So... Uh, that's uh, that's about as uh, that's all that it takes to do that. I'll just click those again with the green. 
Um, now you'll see here that Abby and Sam do go, they've gone into overdraft um, there for a bit. So that's not going to be ideal. So we would be suggesting that maybe some of those bigger expenses that they've got going out maybe get moved. Um, like maybe they could move their telephone and internet um, bill to a later date or align their salaries. We would prefer that they obviously their salaries are aligned to when some of those bigger bills are going out, especially if they've got a lot of rent. Their rent's going out every week. So they want to be able to put their salaries in um, earlier or move some of their bigger bills out to later. Um, so this might not be typical for you. This is just how it worked out for them. So, but in a nutshell, that's how we reconcile. So I will close that one down and we will then close the account down. Now remember, you always go up and go file, save. You always want to make sure you've saved. And then when you're back looking at your home bank screen, you can see that all of the numbers now match. They're the same across all of the different stages. So it's reconciled, it's cleared, it's the amount you've got in today, and it's the amount that you've got in in the future because we haven't posted any new transactions. So that all matches to the bank account, to your actual bank account, what's in your bank, which is good. It means that now whenever you look at any of the reports, the numbers are actually going to be correct. So we would need to go through and do that for all of their other accounts. And again, you just have your online banking on one side, home bank on the other, you just check across between the two and you can pick up mistakes and you can get all your accounts and a true picture of your wealth on the one screen. So have a go at that and we'll come back and we'll talk about the reports in the sessions next week.